Well, I'll tell you a situation where it could have made a difference, and later on it made all the difference. It was at a nuclear power plant. They are in an outage. An outage is when the plant is shut down for routine maintenance or repair. Uh, they're working very hard to get the plant back up and running because they're not making money. They're spending a lot of money. So they're in the middle of an outage, and a crew goes into a part of the plant, and they start to tear down some equipment to repair it. For 12 hours, that was their shift. The second crew came in and they continued the work on the same equipment, 12 hours. Third crew came in and somebody immediately said, hey, this is the wrong equipment. We're not supposed to work on this equipment until next year. Oops. It cost the company $2 million to put all that equipment back and go over and work on the right equipment because it, it was cost, it took them two days and it was $50,000 an hour. So when they did the math, it was about $2 million of lost revenue. And the reason that happened is because the crew chiefs on the first two crews had essentially told their people, be, well, be grateful you have a job, uh, just do what you're told, don't ask any questions. There were a couple of guys on those crews who knew it was the wrong equipment, but they didn't feel comfortable in saying something as simple as, hey, this is the wrong equipment. On the third crew, there was a change-friendly leader, and he told his people, I'm here to help you work smarter. We're all smart, and you're here to help me work smarter. I'm gonna challenge your thinking. I expect you to challenge my thinking. So it was easy for somebody to say something as simple as, hey guys, this is the wrong equipment. So you look for the nuances in these behaviors. It's not just feel-good stuff. Being a change-friendly leader has real implications in terms of costs, productivity, and hard results.